Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. Looks like cloudy skies tonight around the area and 31 degrees at 7 o'clock, 30 degrees at 9 p.m. down to 29 at 11. And then tomorrow morning, some breaks in the clouds late night and into the morning. 25 degrees, better chance some of those breaks in the clouds will late morning and into the afternoon. And then by the time we get to the evening, more clouds will be streaming in from the southwest, about 37, looking for highs tomorrow, upper 30s, maybe a few spots touching that 40-degree mark. Night falling up in Troy, a stouter centered camera there, uh, showing a lot of cloud cover still, and those clouds are only progressing slowly southeast, so expecting uh, clouds to stay with us, it looks like a good part of the night. Mid and upper 30s uh, for the high temperatures tomorrow and near 40 across the south. And then on Saturday, a touch warmer as we get up into the lower end of the 40s, but that won't last for long because we have some cold air developing to our northwest. It's already there up in Canada, and an Alberta clipper will be dropping southeastward on Sunday, a low-pressure center moving out of western Canada over the weekend, and as that heads down into the Ohio Valley, it'll start to pull down some of that colder air and also uh, bring a chance of a mix of rain and snow to the area at first, but then as the colder air builds in, looks like that will be changing over to some snow late in the day on Sunday and into Sunday night. Right now, it looks like any accumulations will be on the light side, but start to look like winter again here around the Dayton area in the Miami Valley. Live Doppler 2 HD tonight, uh, tracking dry conditions for us, even though we have those clouds around, but there is a system to the south producing a lot of rain across Arkansas, Louisiana, down into Texas. Texas and even snow out into West Texas and eastern portions of New Mexico. This system will head northeastward. Now it will just pass mostly southeast of our viewing area, but some of our counties southeast, say down toward Clinton, maybe Greene County, Warren County, you may see a little bit of snow here, at least a slight chance of some snow showers, it looks like tomorrow night and into early in the day on Saturday. Not much spread in temperatures. Our high 35, but that was actually at 1 30 in the morning, a low today of 32 degrees, and we're still sitting in that narrow. Range now. We're at 33 degrees with cloudy skies. West northwest wind at six miles per hour. Uh, not much of a wind chill factor out there tonight at 28 degrees. And right now in Troy, 35, wind coming out of the west at a mile an hour and peak wind gusts today, 16 miles per hour. Our weather checkers, uh, not much spread here. Uh, low 30s to the south. Bill Telsero and Xenia at 33 degrees, along with William Nevis and Fairborn. Up north, Scott Biesecker and Bradford, 31. David Wessler also 31 degrees over New Paris. Pat Lee can in the low 30s in Trotwood tonight. Uh, we'll just see some of those clouds floating around. It looks like a chilly day coming up tomorrow. And as far as the uh, sunshine goes, well, back to some breaks in the clouds through the day. And we'll be looking at a dry forecast for tomorrow. Our forecast tonight, mostly cloudy and cold down to 25. A mix of clouds and sunshine tomorrow with a chilly day on tap as we reach the upper 30s. Hour by hour forecast, 29 at 10 o'clock, 33 degrees at noon. Into the upper 30s in the afternoon. 34 at 7 o'clock in your Storm Team 2 7 day forecast. Saturday's high 43. Uh, again, that slight chance of some morning snow southeast of us, but then a better chance of rain and snow Sunday, transitioning to all snow as we go into Sunday evening, Sunday night. Colder with snow showers on Monday. So the final week of January, going to start to look more like January. Yeah, mm. a little chilly out there.